What up, y'all? This big reek back at you. You know, I get the news and give it to you as soon as I get it, man. So in today's news, man, we got a good case of goddamn white on white crime, redneck justice. We got the case of Aaron Spencer versus Michael Fossler. Now, this is a crazy case in which uh Aaron Spencer doled out some good old redneck justice on Michael Fossler. Michael Fossler, 67 years old, was found with Aaron Spencer's missing 14-year-old daughter. And Aaron blew Michael Fossler's ass off and killed his ass. And now he is facing murder. Red rum charges. What do y'all think of that, man? Do y'all think he should be facing red rub charges for a guy down taking out a 67-year-old man that was found with his missing daughter? Now, missing daughter is kind of a misleading term because when I'm thinking missing, I'm thinking like you need like uh take it or something. Like Liam Nielsen and shit, man. They, they took your daughter and you done tracked her down and found her. You knew where your daughter fast daughter was at the whole time she was with the old ass creepo nigga and you uh, said she was missing. You know, it wasn't like she was gone for days. You know what I'm saying? And then recovered or months. You know what I'm saying? That's missing to me. She snuck out the house to go meet the creepo and you found creepo with half to them. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? But let's get it right. I don't, the missing child, I don't know. That is adding more dra dramatic to try to get my boy off. I mean, that's cool. You know, you got to play it how you got to play it, man. Chobo keep touching on your daughter. They said that the man had put a uh, restraining order on Mr. Fossler uh, earlier. And, uh, you know, he still was coming back around messing with the bad daughter. And the daughter was apparently still messing with this fool for whatever reason. They had a strange love. <laughs> but uh, daddy put an end to that shit. Yes, he did. Daddy laid the smack down. Uh, yeah, Daddy laid the smack down. And now they saying Daddy facing murder. Do y'all think Daddy should be facing murder charges for killing the chomo that will win his child? I don't know, man. I don't think he gonna get convicted of no murder. That's a, that's a tough sell to a jury. You want to talk about jury nullification, man. Come on, man. How you going, guy, dog? Play that. Then they try to say that the dude attacked him and he accidentally shot him. <laughs> accidentally ass. He blew his ass off. He tracked that dude down, found him in the, 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 the uh, car with his daughter. But they just finished getting some... And you have to move his ass off. Hell yeah. That was happening, man. That was happening. He was going to that bitch. That was my daughter. So the Chobo, you know what I'm saying, went from good to bad. He was chilling in his car with his little uh, Jack, thinking he got away with another one. No, sir. Daddy laid his ass out. It is crazy because Mr. Fausler is a former police officer and uh, he been doing got done, uh work with children at the school. These jokers always find a way to get close to the kids working at the school and all kind of crazy shit. Got now boy scouts and you know, anything to do with children, they be trying to come around. I don't trust motherfuckers. Who always want to work with kid, man? Kid get on my nerve. Who the fuck want me around? I never understand. <laughs> something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. You want to be around the children all day, man? Hell no. Thank you, man. Mr. Fossler is up out of here. Aaron Spencer that took him out. Aaron Spencer is from Arkansas. They say uh, they got a GoFundMe for him. If you want to look for him on the net, you can help him out. You know, because apparently they got down. I don't know if he got a bar yet. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I say free Mr. Spencer. He's 36 years old. Mr. Foster was 67. 
They got down uh, Mr. Foster uh been getting at the girl since she was 13 years old, man. Yeah, you down bad. Now your ass is down and out. You went from down bad to down and out, Mr. Fossler. Yeah, that what happened by you risking your freedom and your life, messing with somebody, little girl. Now he done took you out. Yeah, man, y'all get in the comment section what y'all think. Y'all think he should get life, uh, five years, mass slaughter, or no time at all in a battle. What y'all think, man? I don't know. Vigilante justice is crazy, you know. Can't just have motherfuckers out here just shooting motherfuckers. But, you know, see, he in the moment. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, God darn, you can't be messing with folk family, man. Folk who created it. But, say. He blew his ass off, man. He took Mr. Fox out. He, he got tired of filing them charges at the police station. And he got down this dude keep getting out and messing with his kids. So he said, God down, I'm going to uh, execute some redneck justice coming straight out of Arkansas. A nigga name, goddamn, uh, uh, what that boy name, man? I forgot the redneck name again, man. Yeah, he coming straight out of Arkansas, a nigga name. Got that Spencer. Didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Eric Spencer don't give a fuck. Yeah. What y'all think of that, man? What y'all did that you got down somebody? You done got down, found some old nigga with your daughter. And then you, you try to tell him to back off. He don't back off. Then you go to the police. Police arrest him. But let him right back out, and then he right back in at your daughter. Do you have enough? Is it enough? Enough? You know what I mean? Enough is enough at some point. Motherfucker ain't gonna take but so much. So yeah, y'all get in the comment section, like and subscribe. Like I said, you know I'm always getting the news and the stories, man.